There we go. I hope everybody can see my screen. Yes, uh, I can see it. Okay. All right. So uh, what Don had showed, uh, there was a lot of manual process uh, processes uh, that he had gone through. And the way uh, we see it is there's three major pieces that he went through. You know, one was actual uh, layout, uh, the panel layout, which was a manual process, even though most of it was automated in that dialog. And then the second process uh, was the actual nesting. And then the, uh, the last one was the knowledge base creation. Uh, and then, of course, he had other other per manual processes that he was showing, which is basically the creation of the curves. He had to go in and select all the machining geometry uh, in the actual file that was going to be machined, and then actually loading the knowledge base and then machining it. So, in terms of automation, what we can do, the state of the art right now, uh, is using uh, either Python automation using Python scripts, uh, which is what I'll be showing today or you could write your own C++ or C Sharp uh, using .NET, uh, which is a little bit more complicated. Uh, so uh, for this webinar, we'll be just showing you uh, pieces of uh, these processes that can be automated. So um, so what, what we have here is, uh, you know, the, the actual part that was nested, uh, this uh, I've loaded that part. And I'm going to run, um, one of the things that we can automate is uh, using Rhino scripting language, the actual creation of the machining geometry. So I'm just gonna run uh, a script that I've already created. Go to tools and Rhino, and then go to script and say run. Then I'm gonna uh, select the script. So uh, I can create flat borders and layers. Uh, let me do that. So this automatically uh, created two layers, outer and inner, uh, just like uh, Don had created, you know, using a manual process. And as you can see, this one, let me turn that off. Uh, let me make this the, turn that off. That's the inner layer. Make that the active one, turn that off. And that's the outer layer. And then also additionally, I was able to uh, create them in different colors, um, you know, based on the layer color, of course. So this is one level of automation uh, that you can do, you know, write a script to go through the nested panels and create these. Uh, so I will show you, uh, you know, this is using purely Rhino's uh, scripting, uh, you know, technology as well as Rhino's scripting API. Uh, can you show us the, the script, cam. scripts also, Joe? Would that be possible? Yeah, I can show. Yeah, I can show you the scripts. So I have the script editor on the left-hand side here. I'm just going to show the script that I ran, which would be flat borders and layers. So this is the script. So for those of you who know scripting, uh, let me go through this very quickly. Uh, so basically, this section of code uh, selects the, goes through this set of poly surfaces in, in the model, and then uh, creates, creates a list of them. And then once you get that list, it also creates two layers. Uh, one is called inner and one is called outer, and then applies the colors to each of the layers. The outer one is called blue layer, as you can see, the outer one here, and the inner one is green. So if I turn the inner one on, turn that off, that's the inner one is green. And then uh, what it then does is it cycles through each of the B reps, which is basically the poly uh, the poly surface. Uh, they're called B reps uh, inside internally, uh, and it goes through and it duplicates these edge curves for each of those faces, and only and it only uh, outputs the ones that have uh, that are on the x x y plane uh, with z equals zero. So that's that's what this does. This all this is going through each of the poly surfaces and selecting each face and gets the edges out and then extracts them, and then joins them all and then creates the curves. That's all it does. Uh, if you have any questions, yeah, go ahead and uh, put it in the questions window. And if you are able to answer, we'll later do it, or we can send you an email uh, because it might it can get quite complicated some of these things. And we can share these scripts with you as well when we're done. Uh, I'll also show another script here, uh, the very similar script. Instead of instead of creating uh, layers, uh, you can also create, uh, you know, by curves. Uh, I'm sorry, by color rather. 
So you can assign different attributes. So here's one with colors, gray, black borders. So this one, what it does is it uses colors. So, and uh, the nice thing is in our knowledge bases, we can also uh, select curves for machining using colors uh, as Don showed. Uh, you can either use layers and or colors. So that's that's why uh, I've written this one that basically will output curves using colors. Okay, let me reload this or let me do it. Do... Actually, let me reload the file. So, so there's no layers except for the layers that were created by the flat panel and the nesting. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you how the second piece of the automation puzzle, which is actually loading the knowledge bases that Don had already created and actually uh, doing the machining. So I'm going to run script again, go to tools, script, run. And then I'm going to say, create flat borders and machine by layer. So this one automatically did it. Oh, no shading creatures was done. Okay. Something's wrong with the script. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me reload the file. Okay. I'll show you the other one. Let's see if that works. Interesting. Okay, so this is okay. We can we can look at the we can debug this uh, live. We have some time, so I can debug this pretty quickly. So let's load that file up. Uh, let's load that script up. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to load that script. Actually, Joe, this is what the users will do. We'll have to a number of iterations to get it the way they want it. All right. Yeah. So this well, let's look at the script here. That, that's what the, what it's supposed to do. So basically, it it piggybacks the on the other script that I just showed you. It just creates these layers, outer and inner. And then it's uh, it creates these curves and then outputs those curves, and then it loads, and it then it loads the knowledge base that uh, Don had already created uh, using layer, and then uh, it does a regenerate all. So this is this is all the CAM API. This is our API, Mixoff's API. So we're actually uh, loading a knowledge base here, and then we're regenerating uh, all the operations. That's that's what it's supposed to do anyway. So. Okay, let's let's see what's happening here. So I think the the problem could be in the knowledge base uh, selection. So because we know we uh, selected the uh, curves correctly or created the curves correctly, so I'm just going to load the knowledge base. And let's go. Webinars. So let's you know, KB template using layer knowledge base. So I'm going to go selection rules, layer filters. Okay, that's the problem because it didn't have any layers selected. So I'm going to create a layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run my other script to create these layers. Tools, script, run. I'm going to run create flat borders. So this one created the outer and created the inner. So now I can go set up my selection rules. I go to layer filters, okay, outer, and then selection filter rules, go to layer filters and inner. Okay, so now I'm gonna save my knowledge base. Again, go back to the webinar folder. Using layer VKB, I'm saving it. Okay, let me reload the file. Let's see if this works this time. Uh, 
Okay, so now I'm going to do go back and just like Don did, load the knowledge base. Oh, come on. Using layer. Okay, it looks like everything's okay. So I'm gonna run my script now. So let's go ahead and run the script. I can run it either in the script window here uh, by clicking on that uh, you know, run or play button, or I can go to tools and run it there as well. So let's run it here. There you go did it it loaded the knowledge base outer and inner you can see the screens and the control geometry was selected properly and the whole profiling also the control geometry should have, should have been selected so let me turn off this it's been selected There you go. Now the curves. Let me turn that off. There's the outer profiling being machined using the profiling operation. Let me turn this off. So, and then you have the inner profile, uh, inner hole profiling for all the holes that were being machined. So this is the second level of automation that we have. So, so the creation of the uh, machining geometry was automated, and then actually loading, uh, uh, loading the KB that that you've already predefined, and machining that uh, automatically was also uh, automated. And then there's other other things in the API that you can do. You can post process this automatically if you wanted, and uh, things of that nature. So there's additional layers of automation that you can add to it. Uh, so uh, that's that's pretty much where we are in terms of the automation. Some of the things we're looking at in future releases that are actually automating the other three pieces that be that I mentioned. The three other um, I mean, the knowledge base automation is really uh, not possible because we are setting up based on user intelligence. You know, on your shop floor, what you have learned, what's based on your experience. That's what you're going to be setting up in the knowledge base. So that's very, very highly uh, difficult uh, to automate. Uh, but the layout uh, and nesting, uh, we will be able to automate that using again uh, knowledge bases for uh, layout knowledge bases and nesting knowledge bases. So once you set something up using again your experience and the knowledge base uh, defined in your shop, uh, you'll be able to load it in the API and then run these. So. Uh, those are some of the things in the future that we're looking at. Yeah, uh, have, that's pretty much. We yeah, got some go questions coming in. Um, okay. One of them goes back to the actual nesting uh, portion. Uh, the question was, okay. um, could you have nested grouped curves, or does it have to be poly surfaces? No, you can you can nest uh, grouped curves. There are a little bit of caveats. Uh, Joe, you want to mention them for nesting curves? Yeah, I mean, uh, in the nesting nesting module, you can uh, select uh, surfaces and uh, or uh, curves. You can mix them both. Uh, so, and then we also have an option to uh, nest these. So, if you had outside and inside that you wanted to maintain, uh, we have a parameter in nesting that will allow you to keep that top topological relationship intact in the nesting. Mm -hmm. So that your 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 when you commit the nest, you will actually be creating your 2D curves for each component, similar to what you see here on the screen. Uh, it won't be a solid; it'll be a uh, curves. 